Hey guys, it's John with Total Knee Coach. What I want to show you today is a little bit of what I want to be starting to do with you using something called blood flow restriction training. So this is a blood flow restriction cuff. You can read more about this on the article on the website. You can comment below with questions or comments about that. But I want to show you today is something that I used after my knee injury going into and after my knee surgery. I've used it with other patients before and after surgery with really good results. And what's really cool about using blood flow restriction training is you can use a little device like this and allows you to do easier exercises that aren't as painful that allow your muscles to get really strong. So say you've got a really arthritic knee and it hurts to exercise, your knee's stiff, and then that tends to make your muscles around the joint get more weak. What we know about arthritic joints, they feel better when you're exercising, when the joint is looser, and when the muscles around the joint are stronger. And that's the beauty of blood flow restriction. It allows your muscles to get bigger and stronger without having to do painful exercises. So what I'm gonna show you real quick is just a way that we can do a few really simple blood flow restriction exercises. So this cuff, just slides right around the groin. You're going to want to put the cuff all the way up at the top of the thigh as much as possible. I'm going to pull this pretty tight. The goal of this cuff is to slow down the blood leaving my leg, keep blood in the venous system and in the muscles that I'm going to work while still letting blood flow into the leg through the arteries. So a few of the exercises that I really like going into surgery or with an arthritic knee or recovering from surgery is to work the quadriceps with what I call closed chain exercises. So that means the foot is pushing against something or the foot is on the ground. You know, if you sit there and you do leg kicks all day or leg raises, it's kind of hard for that muscle to translate into meaningful improvements in function. So one exercise that I'm gonna do is gonna be really easy. Anybody can do it. It's gonna be minimally painful in the working muscle. It's not gonna be painful in the joint. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna start doing it as I talk to you. I'm gonna stand up against the pillar. In your house, standing in a door frame can work. You wanna be somewhere where your heel can be resting against the wall, not against the baseboard, or standing outside. The beauty of using blood flow restriction exercises is you can get meaningful improvements and strengthen your quad with no equipment. So you can travel with these. You can do these exercises whether you're at home or if you're beside a pool in Kenya, like I am right now, you can do all these exercises. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of squeeze, hold for one to two seconds, and I'm gonna do 30 reps in a row. I'm working on squeezing my knee all the way straight. You can circle around and kind of show from the side. So what I get to do when I'm doing this with these blood flow restriction exercises, I'm working my quad, but I'm also in a meaningful way, straightening my knee all the way and making my muscle have to learn how to control that while I'm putting weight on my leg. We can make this a little harder by squeezing back and trying to lift the toes. That automatically makes that quadriceps muscle squeeze a little harder. And as I'm getting up on 30 reps, I can feel a good muscle burn in my quad. It's making my muscle get stronger, but I'm not having to do a lot of resistance. I'm not having to breathe hard. I'm not having to work that hard. From there, after I do 30, I can rest about 30 seconds, and I'm gonna go ahead and cycle this through, and I'm gonna also do 30 step-ups. So what I can do with this, same thing, a really functional, nice exercise. It's not real hard. You can start with a really small step. When you have a blood flow restriction cuff on, the goal of the exercises is to be pretty easy, allow you to exercise well without having pain in your joint, and get some muscle burn going. So we say I go through and did 30 of these, I can rest another 30 seconds. I like to do two or three exercises rotating through, and I can feel as I'm doing this, even with doing these simple exercises, I can really feel my muscle kind of pump, like that feeling like I'm lifting really heavy things, but I'm not having to lift really heavy things. And then last, what I can do is just work on a very low level squat. Find a surface that you can kind of sit back down to. You know, if, if your knees hurt when you squat from arthritis or injury, uh, that can be a challenge. What I can do is get the same benefit of squatting with heavy weights by doing something really easy. I'm gonna do about 30 reps of these, make that blood flow restriction cuff help my muscle to grow stronger. So if you have any more questions or your comments about using blood flow restriction training, please let me know. If you'd like to get started, I would love to help you develop an individualized, specialized program that's gonna help you with your painful joints to prepare for surgery, to recover from surgery, or recover from injury. This is awesome. These are very simple exercises that we can do. You don't need to have any equipment. You don't even have to have shoes. You can do them while you travel. You can do them at home. 
you have any questions about this, please let me know. You can click the links below to either schedule an appointment or send me a question. Thank <laughs> you.